All right, everyone. Uh, I think we're all here now. Are we all in focus? Maybe. Or well, maybe not, but... Let me begin saying this is harder to do than the best list. This is the most top 10 garbage movies <laughs> of 2012. These are the absolute worst of the gumbo pot. Now, people are going to wonder why you will not see Piranha 3DD on my list as the number one. That's just a cop out. Anybody can go to a B-rated movie section and dig up 10 of the worst B-rated movies of all time. But these were B-rated movies. These were the movies that they released at the theater to really suck in your money. Okay, this is the this is the realest list you're going to see for worst movies. And everybody might be a little accurate here. Cuz um it's really good to, I mean it's really easy to spot the really bad movies once you go to the theater and spend your money on them. Um number 10 happens to be This Means War with uh, Chris Pine, uh, Reese Witherspoon, and Tom Hardy. This movie is beyond any type of garbage you probably have seen thrown on a screen to try to make a romance film. And they had a all-star cast, but they want to try to make Chris Pine the sex symbol and and um, Tom Hardy and Reese Witherspoon. This was designed for women to grab their boyfriends by the arm and say I want to go see this movie the movie is so stupid two spies fighting over a girl it, it is the most dumbest plot ever put on screen and to waste money like this it's just it's totally ridiculous number nine I have Rock of Ages now I almost replaced this with Joyful Noise but Joyful Noise wasn't as bad as Rock of Ages because these were songs I liked and the movie was so out of whack and it was just just ridiculous. Tom Cruise playing Stacy Jacks was probably the only bright spot in the movie. Everybody was individually good for a moment, then it just they just had no place in the movie. It was just so compiled of junk. The story made no sense whatsoever. The girl, you didn't even care if she ended up with a guy. It was just terrible. Uh, number eight, you have um, Taken Two. And yes, I got Taken Two because I actually went and paid to see a movie that from the preview I knew looked bad. And I still went because I wanted to do the review. So yes, I got Taken Two. And it was a bad movie just a bad movie it was like a we're gonna remix this and the whole time I'm thinking is from a realist how can you go from what you went through the trauma of the first movie to have your family go travel across the country again I mean I wouldn't go to a Starbucks no more after <laughs> I wouldn't leave the house after what I had went through before you know that would take some years um, I just, it was really unrealistic, and once you watch it, it becomes even worse than what you imagined. Um, number seven on the list would be Lockout. If I'm sticking with the numbers correctly, Lockout is um, a movie that's starring, um, what is his name? Oh my god, I can't think of him. He's in Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce is the star of this movie, and the girl that happens to be in Taken Two, so she's in two movies that's in the worst movie. Maggie Grace, ooh, you losing Grace, Maggie, for not picking these roles correctly. This is a horrible movie about prison in space, and now the prison's about to crash on Earth, and we gotta send this one guy to go see the president's daughter out in space. With all the worst prisoners in the world, they can't even make a logical explanation for her being there. The movie is so unbelievably trashy, it's stupid. It made zero sense to even be on a screen. Oh, I just don't even want to talk about it no more. 
Uh, coming in at number six, we have the apparition. The apparition is uh, the girl that plays the psychic in Twilight. They took her and Malfoy from from um, Harry Potter and said, "Well, these are two people from movies that people cared about. Maybe people will care enough about these two misfits in a movie together. Just maybe it'll work out." No, it didn't. It's one of the most unexplained ghost story movies you've ever seen ever in your life and everything doesn't make sense you have to make sense they it it got to the point where they didn't even know how to end the movie that's how stupid the movie was they just said just just cut it just cut it <laughs> and just put it out i don't care it's really really bad and i just wish they tried harder in the horror movie department because the rest of these movies that's down the list, I believe, are in the horror genre or if trying to be horror. Number five on the list, we have Ghost Rider 2. Ghost Rider 2 had its moments. Like where you say, oh, well, that's cool, but this is stupid. The plot is so dumb, and no one has any excuse for being in the movie. Cage is just like, well, I'm going to just holler and yell and cage my way through this whole thing because this is a stupid script, but I need to check. And that's why you have Ghost Rider 2. And we go from number 5 to number 4 on the list, and that's the Resident Evil, whatever name they wanted to name this one. It is just a compiled, high action, unbelievable stuff that's going on. Just when they box you in the corner on the last one, you say, well, it can't get any worse than this. This has got to be the last one. They come out with another one. Video game movies are not working out. Yes, we need to stop now. And that brings us to number three, which is Silent Hill. Silent Hill started out with so much promise. Visually effects, it is unbelievable. You watch this movie and go, my goodness. This is, this is something. But then you get to the plot and say, well, what is this? <laughs> this is trash. It is complete trash. Nobody would ever believe anything that's taking place in this movie whatsoever. And um, number two on the list is definitely number two for a reason. I was this close from knocking out number one but number two is the devil inside if anybody saw this movie you know this is one of the stupidest exorcist movies please can we stop with the exorcist movies please they're, they're not working they're just not working you need to get original if you're gonna try to do a horror movie and please don't try to swindle the public even from the preview, they're showing you people that are going to have no relevancy in the movie. They even, on the cover of the album, on the, on the DVD or whatever, you see the girl with the, the blind eyes, the, the nun, who looks creepy. She has no place in the movie whatsoever. She's in it for probably about 3.2 seconds for that one scene, and they put that on the cover of the DVD to try to sell you it so you can rent it and just steal your money. Because the movie is plotless and so stupid. It doesn't even explain how this demon or whatever is jumping inside of people. And then it just takes over everybody. Just starts jumping from people to people. It is so stupid. It makes zero sense. And let's go right to something else that didn't make any type of sense. And the biggest one of all. The worst movie of 2012. Paranormal Activity 4 continuing its streak of bad movies period not everything needs a sequel and this was definitely something that did not need a sequel after the first one they should have stopped but if you're suckering people with money in and I said well this wasn't that great but the one made the first one good was the quality of believability you know they're in two rich people living in a big house it's gonna be creepy it's gonna be scary and actually something actually is happening in their household you know it's kind of creepy 
But now you go from that to part two and part three when you're trying to connect some supernatural thing that's been being trying to explain things that you don't even know how to explain. It's only going to make it so stupid. And then you have like this cult that you can't explain. Now you got to go and try to explain why there's a cult. And now you're just backtracking to try to cover up what you shouldn't have done in the first place. And you just keep on repeating the same jump scares, throwing chairs down from the ceiling. It is getting a bit tiresome and ridiculous. So, to even have these movies keep coming out, the public has just got to make a stand and just say, I'm not going to see this. Because these movies are terrible. They're terrible. Paranormal Activities doesn't scare anyone but 12 year olds and 13 year olds. These movies are garbage. Stop putting garbage on the screen, please. There are better ways of getting money. And people, stop being swindled into buying into stupid movies. There are a lot of good films out there. You got to start supporting them. You got to know the good from the bad. Okay, if they keep giving you bad, stop eating bad. But I'm glad they did make this movie because now the people last year who said part three, oh, well, that was pretty good. Yeah, now you look stupid because this one just shows you that the past three have been complete garbage because this is the same formula they've given you three straight times in a